Hello, everyone, and welcome. And that's the sound of the trumpets. Many of you know that means it is time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the stocksquish.com. Please welcome Linda Armour. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much, Online Trader Central. Let me know if everybody can hear me and see the slide. And you can type in here if you have questions. There you go. Okay, welcome. Today's going to be a very interesting webinar. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, and today I'm going to talk about making money shorting in a bullish market, which, which you might find interesting because a lot of people think, how can they possibly short anything right now when the market is continually making brand new all-time highs, and yet you can do it. So how do you make money in a bullish market? Do you buy everything? Or is it too late to buy? Has the move maybe gone without you? Have you missed it? Okay, a lot of people think this. Do you have to wait now for a pullback before you go long? Or maybe a correction? Is it impossible to short? How do you make money? Okay, so this is ultimately the thing that you have to look at. So how do you make money in a bullish market? Well, you have to be very specific. And to be honest with you, I tell you that you have to have a good pick and a correct stock to trade, whether the market's bullish or bearish. And that is my philosophy, and it's one of the reasons I'm successful. But people really like to go long. <clears throat> they do. However, you have an edge if you learn how to short, because very few people are good at shorting. And let me tell you something, if you can make money shorting a bullish market, you're very good at what you do. And the stocks that you would short in a bullish market are, guess what, very weak. But guess what, that's how you make money anyways, shorting, okay? You make money shorting weak stuff. So what do you need to know? Well, you need to know a lot, but we only have an hour here today. So we're going to go over the things that are important that you need to know. What do you need to know? You cannot go long crap, even in a bullish market. You can't do it. So some people think you can take anything long and it's gonna rally with the market, false. And actually I see Patty's here today. I'm gonna to use Patty's stock as an example. Patty's long rig, okay? It's been down for quite some time ever since she took it. And it had one move up on Friday. I don't know if Patty's still in it or not. Patty, if you want to write in the room or not. But that was your one chance, actually, to get out saving yourself something. She's been down in this a while. This stock is in a downtrend. It's not a good long. Even though it had one green bar on Friday, it's not going to lift. Okay? That, that was a baby lift on Friday. So you can't even go long in a bullish market anything. This is not a good long. Okay? So it's actually a short. And even if something has one green day or two green days, it doesn't mean it's going to rally or turn around or flip, even though the market's strong, okay? What else do you need to know? You can still go long, strong stocks. Even if they've continually been going up, you can. You can play into the momentum, and that's what you should do, not against it. But a lot of people have missed these bullish moves. Google, Amazon, Facebook, and they think they have to take them in the opposite direction. False. You won't make money in a bullish market shorting stocks like Google and Facebook and Amazon and all the strong stuff. Okay? Here you have this. This is out from who, last week. What do you need to know? This is a good long. Actually, this rally today, I looked at this today. This chart was from last week when I wrote the webinar, but I will tell you that this actually rallied and almost and might have actually made a new high today at the close. I didn't see it right before four o'clock. We can look at this later. You think it can't go higher? Yes, it can. And people that shorted Google on the earnings, this was an earnings move where the stock had a monster move. People that shorted this lost money, it flipped and has rallied every day since. What else do you need to know? Moves can continue. 
You don't need a correction to play a stock. Again, that's false, okay? You, you can get in something going with the correct direction. You don't have to wait for it to pull back or pull down. Netflix is a great example of that. The stock gapped up here. This was again back at the end of April. Took off like a rocket. Never pulled back. There's no pullback in here. Zip. If you didn't go long here in this gap up in Netflix, you missed the move. That's continuing. So what do you need to know? You can make a lot of money shorting stocks. If you have weakness in the stock chart, even in a bullish market, you have to be very picky and choosy. And if, you're, if you are, okay, if you are picky and choosy, you can make a lot of money because the panic will come in huge and that's how you make money shorting. You make the best money shorting selling stocks that are dropping with selling action, so you short the selling action. Does this make sense? Here you have AMD, this was last week. Stock closed here, open in the morning. And the high here was like around 11, 70 something or whatever, 1180-ish. Dropped all day, went to the dream number, hit down, not, not quite to $10. Got to 10 bucks the following day, almost a $2 move in a 24 hour period, sold off. Huge volume. This down here is volume. <clears throat> okay, so this is a volume bar. So you have the move, the momentum, the volume, you have the selling action, and you short the selling action, and I shorted this here close to the high of the day. So how do you do this? What do you do? What do I do? I, I trade gaps. And this is the examples I've been showing you. We'll go over this more today. So, you know, I talk to so many different people that are trading so many different things, but many people really don't really know how to predict a directional trend for a stock. And I think that's one of the most important things that you can learn from me. Because you won't make money buying a stock if it's falling. And you won't make money shorting a stock if it's rallying. So would you like to learn how to make money on a strategy that works in any market, bullish or bearish? Again, this is key. Then trade gaps. So I'm looking for very specific stocks every day that are gapping. And that's how I determine what to do. So making money shorting in a bullish market is not that hard if you have the right picks. And in fact, you can get big moves because most people, again, common sense, which rules the day in trading, common sense tells you if you are long a stock, I'm just going to give you an example. If you're long a stock and the market is rallying and rallying and rallying and making new highs and you're long the stock and you're down in the position, what do you think common sense says you should do? Common sense, okay? Or what if a stock is falling and you're not in it? And you're not in the long and you're not in anything at all and you're trying to figure out what to trade or what to do, how to make money because you want to make money every day or a couple days a week if you can. You can short stuff that's falling if the market's rallying. That makes sense. Okay. So what's your job as a trader? Your job as a trader is to find opportunity. In a very bullish market, there is opportunity for you to make money shorting if you find quality stocks to short. So that's very important. People will want to dump positions and sell because of the bullishness of the market if their stock is not performing. Think of it like this. You are running a hedge fund, okay? You're running a hedge fund and you're in a big position in something. Guess what? If the market's making new highs and your stock position is down and nothing looks right about it, if it's down for days or weeks even, it's even worse. You will dump it because your money is stuck in that thing invested in that investment. You're better off taking your money out of that position that's a loser and putting that money in a position that's a winner or that's going to make money for you. You've got to put your money to work. Think of yourself like a fund or a bank. Here, this is a better example. Think of yourself like a bank. Your ABC bank. This is Patty Bank, Patty's Bank. In Patty's Bank, Patty has a certain amount of money. Patty's Bank has a certain amount of money, and Patty's Bank has to make that money work for her. If that money is stuck in a dead position or a down position or a position that's losing, Patty can't make her money work. She can't take her money 
and make it work in a position that will win, a position that will make money for her, which is what Patty's bank needs to do. And that's how you have to look at it, okay? And actually, everyone has certain limits, even banks, and I'm talking about banks, and I'm making up a name Patty's Bank just to show you the point that even, even huge firms and banks and funds have, you know, they have much more capital than individuals do, but they still have limitations, okay? And they still have goals, and they still have to make money, and actually their goals are much, much more than your goals, okay? Or higher goals, I should say, <clears throat> than your goals, more lofty goals than your goals. Let's look here at HZNP. HZNP was the trade of the day today, and the stocks was show live trading. One was a short. The stock gapped. Here's the gap. Here's it falling. Collapse, collapse. Here's the live open of the day. The stock fell. So you can see here how the stock fell. Again, this is from Friday's close, approximately around $15.60 in the morning, and then it fell all day today around 10 bucks. So the stock lost $5 plus over, over between a 24-hour period. From Friday night into today's close, when 24 hours, the stock lost $5 plus, and the market hit a new high today. So do you see how if you pick the right stock, you can make money shorty? And this was a huge trade. And not even if you didn't even hold it. But the morning move is what I like to do. The entry time in the day trading short for the stock today was 9.34. Price of the entry, 10.99. Boom, short it. Put the stop. Stop was 11.35. It was about 36 cents. Again, you're looking for an entry to this as a day trade. This is an advanced risk, but if you shorted 4,000 shares of this, exit 10.65, although the stock went to $10, okay, if you wanted to hold it, total profit $1,360 in 10 minutes. This was an amazing trade, okay? How do you do this? I predicted this stock would fall and drop, and that's what it did. So I shorted the selling action that happened in HZNP as a result of what? The gap. And to be honest with you, I don't remember the reason for this gap even. I don't even remember. I just remember looking at it in the morning, the pre-market this morning, and I rated the gap, okay? And that is a very important part to what I do because I am predicting it before the move happens. So to become a successful trader, what do you wanna do? Number one, you need to have a good strategy. Number two, you need to use it daily or weekly. So even if you can't find a setup Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, at least three, four times a week is good for you to make money and profit. Number three, you've got to get good at that strategy and focus on nothing else, okay? Number four, do not trade when there is no opportunity, which means if you don't have any good picks. Another very important thing because you don't want to trade crap or in days when there's nothing to do. So your job as a trader is what? If you do not know how to find opportunity in the market, then you need to learn from someone who does know how to find opportunity, which is, which is someone like me. And that's why you come, trade with me in the room, learn from me. This is the only way to be successful. Knowing how to find the opportunity is key. So what do I do? I trade stocks that gap. And what do I do is I make the prediction when I see the gap in the direction the stock's gonna go. That's what I do, whether bullish or bearish. You need a system that produces results in order to make money trading, though, no matter what you do. And if you don't have a system, then you're probably losing. Buying support and shorting resistance is not a system. It's not a strategy, even. There's too many support levels and too many resistance levels in a stock. How do you know which one's going to hold on the live day to drop or fall or rally? Okay? That's not good enough. You need a system that works also in every market condition because markets are very unpredictable. Whether the market's rallying or falling on any given day should have no bearing on your stock itself. Although we are in a bullish market. The Golden Gap trading system teaches you how to produce results and that's what I do. And it works in every market. So what do I do? I trade a system I created myself called the Golden Gap. It's a trading system that teaches how to rate, pick, and play professional bearish gaps. And I do occasionally do bullish gaps, okay? Which were some of the ones like in Google. 
The Golden Gap Trading System looks at 26 points to examine and rate the stock that is gapping. This is how you can find which gap is the best to trade each day. And that's how you're going to make money. If you want to be successful, you must predict the stock's move. Is the stock going to rally? If it is, go long it. Is the stock going to fall? If it is, you short it. That's it. That's how you make money. If you can't predict it, correct, in the directional bias, you will fail. You will lose. You won't make money. And that's why most people lose. They can't predict it. So the number one thing that you would learn from me is how to predict the move of a stock and to get in the stock position, whether as a day trade, swing trade, or option before the move happens, or as close, as close as you can before the move happens. Any questions so far? Let me know. I see some people that signed in late. Now, what do I mean by the best gap? The best gap is the one that works correctly on the day. Because, you know, most of the days I day trade, that's what I prefer because the money is very, very quick. But not all gaps work, okay? So I have a method that determines the ones that will work and not work, which is the rating system. So why do some gaps work? And why do some gaps not work? Well, first of all, let's talk about what a gap is. This is a review for some of you and new for others. A gap is a break in continuity, interruption hiatus. It's a divergence, a difference, or disparity. It's a break. It's a break in price. A stock gap when the opening price today is different from the closing price of the previous day's trading. Like HCNP, good example. It was over 15 bucks on Friday. This morning it opened at 11 something. A gap is a break. That's a break, okay, in the price action from one day to the next. And the U.S. market closes at 4 o'clock Eastern time and opens the next morning at what? 9.30, okay? Now let's look here at Amazon. Why do some gaps work and some don't? Amazon had a gap down. This was back in early February. It was not a short. In fact, it completely didn't work that day as a short and it rallied after. So you can't short every gap down and you can't go long every gap up. And I'm showing you this here because the stock gap down on this day was valid. You could have looked at it. You could have rated it, but it wasn't a good gap to short. Although I wouldn't have gone long this here. So you have to have a way to look at what's happening, meaning the buying or the selling. And clearly the selling here didn't follow through. It gapped down and got bought. Sold off a little bit into the close and then immediately got bought afterwards, ran up and made another new high very quickly after. This is again back in February, this is Amazon. But this is a good example of a gap down that did not fall through lower. This is an example that we already looked at of a gap down that followed through lower on the day and then several days after. So this is what you would look to short and sell, okay? So you have a close up here around 1360-ish and you have an open here around 11 something, 1180-ish. This did fall through in the day and then it did fall through afterwards which is another way to trade overnights. So how do I pick which gap to trade? You need a proven system to find the best gap. If the way for you to make money is to trade specific stocks with a specific strategy, which is stocks that gap, then you still have to find what is the best gap because almost everything gaps every day. So you can't short every down gap and you can't buy every up gap. And some people actually believe that gap fills work, which means you're flipping the direction of the gap. And that doesn't work consistently either. And what, why? Why doesn't that? Because you can't predict it. Something like Amazon here, and I'm just going to go back, very well could have sold off. It didn't. But there's no predictable way to go long the stock in here today. Because the stock did show weakness. It did show weakness because the stock did gap down. Because where the stock closed up here at around 840 something, did gap down here to 805, the stock did gap down and had weakness. So you can't predict that this is gonna rally, even though that's exactly what it does. And if you shorted it, you would have lost, okay? So I teach a way that you can look at at night or even in the morning to predict the gap. This is a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. That's what I do. That's what you come and learn from me. That's the most important thing about you being able to make money trading. You gotta get the direction right. The purpose of my system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning and to get the direction right. 
and there are so many stocks each day to trade and there are so many stocks each day that gap that picking the right one is significant to your success and particularly in a bullish market because in a bullish market many many stocks that are strong have been rallying 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 and people feel afraid to go long them and you can't short them because they're too strong and people want to buy crap then that's down and they think that's the answer and those trades don't work either and then people don't know what to do and they are afraid to short because the market's too strong but guess what you can that's what i do every day okay any questions so how do you make money now right now in this market conditions in 2017 which by the way i see is falling through and continuing to be bullish you find a good gap you find the best gap you find the best gap that will work on the day with the greatest momentum okay and why do you want momentum okay why why do you want momentum because that's the only way you're going to make money people okay you want momentum because that is ultimately how you are going to make money trading if a stock drops a dollar and you're short it and it's falling you're going to make a buck if it drops two dollars and you're short it you can make two bucks okay if you have a thousand shares of something and you short it and it drops two dollars you'd make two thousand dollars so you, the more momentum in a stock the better it is just like this one here this is great this is amazing here's momentum okay so let's talk a little bit here about momentum trading momentum traders take positions in stocks in anticipation that the stock will have an explosive move like amd like google to the upside this enormous move is in one direction and it happens very very fast momentum trading is one of the most profitable and fastest ways to make money trading and that is another important thing about apps because they have big moves with lots of volume and that's how you're going to make money too you still have to get the direction right though momentum trading is very profitable as long as you enter the play before the fast and big movement takes place okay so it, it doesn't do you any good if you're getting in amd hours into the day you want to be able to get in this as close to the high of the day if you're shorting as possible okay that's how you're you're really going to make money okay so amd here what the stock closed here gap down dropped so this is a one minute chart here you have the daily chart okay <laughs> excuse me here you have the one minute chart the stock open dropped and you could have shorted this right in here and look at the way it fell so almost immediately well actually immediately at 9 3rd the stock sold off so this was a good short and even even with this the market was rallying so the market was rallying and this fell either way it didn't even matter this was a beautiful trade that you could have made money doing even though the market rallied if you had done this short and just took the first target in it which was eleven dollars okay and shorted it at 931 I'm going to show you three different examples here because everybody has a different size account and money this is a beginner risk if you shorted the stock with only 400 shares you would have risked 140 dollars this is a day trade your risk in it was 35 cents okay you could have made 200 dollars that's a very good trade because you only risk 140 and you also were in and out of the trade in 15 minutes if you could do this five days a week that's a thousand dollars a week and you're not even risking that much so let's go back you shorted the stock here and here's the drop and you got out of 11 and actually broke 11 and kept going but you have to have targets and this was the first target and there you have it beautiful beautiful move now if you have a little bit more money to risk guess what you could have risked 525 dollars an intermediate risk this is the top of the scale for this 35 cents same entry you shorted at 1150 put the stop at 1185 enter it at 931 you could have taken 1500 shares you could have made 750 dollars in 15 minutes people okay this is a good good solid trade 
if you could do this even four days a week, you'd make three grand a week. And that's more money than most traders are making. And you're only risking about 500 bucks a trade. Okay, and 1,500 shares is a decent size. Now, if you're trading for a while, or you have a larger account, or you're very experienced like me, you can do an advanced risk. So 4,000 shares of this trade, again, same entry, 1150. The only difference is the size and the risk. Risk being 1,400, 4,000 shares, exit $11, boom. What's your profit? Two grand in 15 minutes. Let's go back and look at the trade. Shorted in here, got out of 11. This isn't even in the low of the day, nothing like that. And this happened all last week when the market was rallying. But it's the pick. It's AMD. It's getting this pick to know that the stock is going to fall, to take the entry at 931, to predict it before the open, to know it will sell off, and that's how you make the money. Any questions so far from anyone? Okay, I'm going to keep going. So, I want to show you this one here. This was last Monday, okay? Stock symbol was ITCI. Stock closed here, gap down. Now, this did gap down, but look, it didn't work as a short. It flipped. So I want to show you that not every gap down works in the direction of the gap. I also want to show you that this did continue down afterwards. Sometimes when they fail on the day as a gap down, you can watch them for follow through lower after the fact. Not always, but sometimes. It depends on the number they rate in the 26 point system. But overall, my, my uh, system, and this is since last Friday, this does not include the trades from today. Since January 23rd, I've tracked all the trade calls in the room. There's been 87 trade calls, 17 losers, and 70 winners. So that's a win ratio of 80%. And that does not include today's option trade calls or the HCMP. The bottom line is you will have days that you will lose. So you got to figure if you take 10 trades, two will lose and eight will win. And that's a good estimate for you to calculate for yourself because not every one works. But that's not the point in trading. The point is trading is to have the consistency, to chunk it out. That's how you put together a week. That's how you put together a month. You can't always look for these huge, huge, huge home run trades, although it will be great to have them some days. And this one here, this AMD continue going. Like I said, here was a daily chart. It went to $10 the following day. It actually broke 10 and went to nine something. The idea is not to get some massive move every day in something. The idea is to get a big move as good of a price as you can get, get the directional bias correct, okay? Get in the trade, get the stop, and make money. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, okay? Although I will tell you that it's very nice, though, sometimes when these things just fall out of the sky and can be huge moves. Now, does anyone have any other questions? Let me know. Okay. So the Golden Gap course, the Golden Gap seminar, which is the, the class that I teach on how to determine what stock directional bias to take trades, is a 26-point rating system to find the best gap to play each day. The seminar also teaches three morning plays of how to enter and exit the gap trade and then afternoon plays as well. The play is important because this is how you make money, which is extremely, extremely important because you will not make any money unless you actually take the trade. One of the most intricate and important pieces of information in the Golden Gap two-day course is to take precise entries with small stops, like I showed you with the AMD, so that you can make a lot of money in a play. And whether you get out early or whether you hold it then is up to you. That has to do with your own money management. And also your, your ability to hold for risk. I'm taking advanced risk in these trades. I'm taking a lot of size. And when I'm up my goal for the day, I'm usually out. And I, I advise that for anyone, okay? Learning how to trade these momentum moves with small stops is a very valuable and detailed piece of information that you will receive 
if you take my class and if you learn from me. A lot of people are afraid to take stops. They won't even put a stop in. But it's actually important to put a stop in because you want to have one loss if something doesn't work. You don't want to have an unlimited loss. Without stops, your losses are, guess what, unlimited. One loss isn't going to kill you. Two losses a month aren't going to kill you. If you don't have a stop in there, what's your loss? It could take up four good trades. You can't have that. I use hard stops when I take my day trades. And for options, I have money management for those as well. And when you're in a swings trade, you still should have a paper stop. And that means you got to get out if it hits it. You can't hold it forever. Otherwise, you're just giving too much money back to the market. So learning how to rate gaps, which is what you would learn from me, is a, is a method I teach, which is a 26-point rating system. And it's a skill that you would learn. And it really teaches you how to analyze a daily chart. Finding these gaps and predicting the moves we're going to make, I often say is like finding gold in the market because they usually work for the day trades and follow through that you can do for options trades or swing trades as well. And that's, that's unique as well because most strategies or systems work for one specific time period and that's it. But when you find a really good gap that rates high per the 26 point rating system, you can do it for days. Google is an example, Amazon is an example, Netflix is an example, AMD is an example. I can go on and on and on and on and on and show you a million examples, okay? Now this was a Google options trade. I'm just gonna show you this here because there's another way to use the system besides the day trades. Again, you have to, you can't make money shorting everything. You still have to short stuff that's good. If you shorted Google here, this gapped up in the earnings, fell in the day, but it wasn't a short, but it was a long. If you went and shorted the stock, you lost money. It flipped, went over the high. So again, even though I'm shorting in a bullish market, I'm looking for quality, quality shorts, of which Google wasn't. Guess what? It was a long. So even when you have a red bar in a day, you can't necessarily short it. You can't tell what direction to play something based on that. You tell based on the gap. So the stock closed here the night before and gapped up in the earnings, and you rate the gap. And I actually called an option trade in this based on the earnings gap, okay? If you did the option trade I called, it was back on 5-2 in Google. I called the A20 calls. This was after the earnings took place, after the gap was formed. You could have bought it for $5.50. This is the cost of the option contract. Average value of selling at 5.3 was 12.50. Profit is what? You could have made seven bucks. So on one contract, it would have been a profit of $700. It would have cost you $550. If you had bought 10 contracts, you could have made $7,000. That would have cost you 5,500 bucks. But you're in and out in a day, in and out, in and out, okay? And that's over 125% return investment, and it was in 24 hours. And that, again, is the nice thing about momentum people here, talking about momentum. Here's a daily chart of Google. Look at the stock rally, gapped up, gapped up, rally, gapped up, gap down, flipped, rallied, 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 rallied. This is momentum, people. This is what you want to find, and you want to find it before this happens. Any idiot now can see that Google is rallying, or see the new highs, or see it going. You want to take the trade into the moves you want to be able to predict that it's going to keep going that you can take the trade we're going to enter it that it's going to go from there from that moment which is something that very a lot of people have such a hard time doing many people would not have thought that google would continue after this gap up higher and yet that's exactly what it did within two days it did it and i predicted it but it was based on the gap even though the day of the gap the earnings it fell i still called it long and the stock closed to the night before at 875 and gapped up here to 910. Gapped up $35 on the earnings, fell in the day, and I still called it higher, and it worked. So you, you, playing momentum is key. That is how you get paid. Remember, again, you're only one person with one individual account. Now, this was the Apple trade called this Friday. A couple people missed it or got the letter late Friday night and emailed me Monday morning. I said, you could still take it. You could still take it today. If you bought this today, you still could have made money on this. This ran up into the close. I called Apple 148 calls on Friday morning. Okay. Stock ran up all day Friday, all day today. In fact, this is this is probably higher, though. I don't know what it does tomorrow. It, it really had a big move. But this is another way, again, you play into the gap. You play into the momentum. But the gap has to rate well to do it. Average cost of the Apple 148 calls on Friday, okay, was $1.25. Average cost or value of the Apple calls if you sold it today was $5.50. The profit was $4.25 if you bought it Friday and held it through today. 
and and I do believe it's still higher because I call this out to May 26th, but the bottom line is it had a huge move in 24 hours. If you had bought one contract, you would have made $425. That would have cost you $125 to buy one, which is 100 shares. If you had bought 10 contracts, you would have made $4,250. How much would have that have cost you? $1,250. So again, it determines are you beginner, intermediate, advanced with your sizing? But either way you look at it, it's a 425% return investment in the option trade in just one day. I do not call these trades every day, but it's earnings season, so I'm calling a lot of them. It's I call them whenever I see them. I just, I just never know when I'm going to see them or when I'm going to call them. I called another one today as well. You just don't know until you see them, until the stock gaps. Any questions at all about day trading or options or gaps? Or the market, as I'm talking here, let me know. So the bottom line is that the, there's a philosophy behind my system, which is what? I'm looking to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Number two, big moves on the day. This is key as well, okay? I also want early confirmation of my bias in the move. I'm looking to get in my trades between 9.30 and 10. And then I also want precise entries with follow through. Again, another very important piece of it. If I want to hold it for longer, I can. If I want to get out of it quickly, I can. Now, like, as I've been talking about this whole time, I love trading gaps. And the reason I love trading gaps, there's, there's lots of reasons, but the, the real reason I love trading gaps is that they just have so much momentum. And I like to make money fast. That's my personality. I don't have a lot of patience. I like to get in, and I like to get out quick. And I like the fact that I'm in and out in the morning. I don't like the fact that, you know, I don't like the idea of trading all day to four o'clock. And some traders do do that. I like that I can make the money and my day can be over before lunchtime. I also like trading gaps because I can get very small entries and take size in my trades, like the 30 some cent stops I showed you today. To be able to take four or 5,000 share positions in something is terrific because you can make, you know, two, three grand very quickly when you get a good drop. If you're short or the reverse if you're long I also love trading gaps because the smaller time frame charts I play in the one minute chart have a very unique perfection that only exists in gap plays all the entries I teach in the class you can't do in any other normal day chart it has to be only in stocks that are gapping and I love trading gaps because they work in any market condition which is another very important factor too you can short stocks in a bullish market you could buy stocks in a bullish market, I mean, in a bearish market, if it's a good gap, okay? So to have a strategy that works in any market conditions is important because the market trend will vary. Sometimes it will seem bearish, sometimes it will seem bullish, even in the longer picture. And you have to be able to find quality picks to make money if you're doing this continuously every day, every week, every month, every year on a regular basis. And it does help. If you're doing the same strategy, I, it, it, you, you only really get good at a strategy per se, one particular thing, if you're doing it over and over and over. I've been trading gaps for over eight years. That's one of the reasons I'm so good at making the calls, okay? You've got to get good at one thing. So why you might love gaps is what? If you want to make money working less than an hour of the day. Most of these trades I showed you are in 30 minutes, some are in 10 or 15 if you want to make a lot of money with a small amount of risk, okay, again, you don't have to put up a hundred grand to take a position in these things. We're trading with leverage. You put in a stop, okay? And if you want to make a lot of money with a small amount of money, many people can open up prop accounts. You do not need the cost stock of the position. You could trade something like Google or Amazon in, a, in an option trade, and you don't need to have the exact price cost of the stock. If you want to learn how to trade and you need a proven strategy, which, which I have because I've been doing this for a long time and I've been teaching my class method to other people for a long time. And if you've already are a trader and you need a strategy that makes you consistent and fast profits. I think, it's, I think the consistency and, and that's why I wanted to show people the win ratio is really very important as well, no matter what you do. And, and if you want to go to my YouTube site, I have the trade tracking for 2017 up there as well. It's just only through Friday that you can look at the stocks that I uh, called or traded in the room. Any questions from someone or anyone that has anything they want to know something about here? 
I think one of the most important things that people uh, also gain from me is that they can do it. Sometimes people think that their brain is just can't take in any more information, you know, but that's not true. It's, it's this, there's really a lot of common sense behind the method that I do. The points are unique to me. That's what you would learn from me in the class. But, but what I do, the philosophy, once you understand it, once you do the course, it makes a lot of sense. And it's a complete system that you can use for any time frame. And I teach you the points, I teach you how to take the entries, the stops, the targets, all of it. And, and it's, it's, it's very important, and I know everyone is, is concerned with making money. And everyone is focused on making money. I totally get that, okay? That's the reason that I trade as well. However, what is very beneficial is being able to make the money so quickly in gaps. Because to, if you had to sit all day between 9.30 and 4 to make $200 and risk 140, that's not as great as being able to sit for 15 minutes and make $200 if you risk 140 bucks. I think that's something that anybody could get on board with. And that is one of the attractive things about trading gaps. A lot of people talk to me about different methods that they've traded in systems. And, you know, I say that time is money also in the aspect of what you're doing with your life. You can, you can spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to trade the market and read a lot of books and watch a lot of videos and come to a lot of webinars, okay? But you may never learn it, okay? And you're also wasting a lot of time. When people come and pay me for my course, number one, they're paying me for the information, but number two, they're also paying me for the time. The time that I've shortened the time for people for the learning curve for them to learn it from me and not have to figure it out themselves. And that in and of itself is worth an unlimited amount of money. You can't give all your hard-earned money away to the market and mistakes because the market will take an unlimited amount. You've got to invest in your own learning, okay? Your own education and your own well-being. B slash C means because, Patty. That's what it means. So you've got to save your money for value-driven education. And that's, that's what I talk to people about, and that's what I teach. You, you save your money so that you can trade once you know how to trade well. What is the number one best thing you can learn from me? I think there's a lot of things that people have learned from me, but... I think one of the number one best things to learn from me is how to predict moves stocks will make before they make them when they gap. Something will gap and I'll predict the move it's gonna make, even if it's never hit that number of the chart and it will go there. And you learn that from me. And guess what it is? It's in the points. The 26 golden gap point rating system that you learn in the class from me is what predicts the move the stock's gonna make and the direction it'll make it, and that's how you do it. Does it work every single solitary time? No. Does it work a heck of a lot more than it doesn't? The answer is yes. So the bottom line is, if you have something that can predict where a stock is going to go, a method, a system, a strategy, which is what I have, and you can do it and you can learn it from me, that's how you're going to make money. And I don't believe there's any other way you can make money in the market because waiting until after something moves, you're chasing it, you're chasing your tail, you're jumping around, you're, then you're wanting, to do the, you're wanting to do it a correction, you're missing the move, you're trying to do it against the trend. I mean, there's so many crazy things I've heard people do. You're not going to consistently make money that way. Every once in a blue moon, you'll make money doing a stupid trade, but that is not consistently, and, and, and that's how most people lose. They, they do something, they think it works because they made money the one time, they do it over and over and over again, it doesn't, they say, well, why did this work? It worked the one time. Sometimes something does work based on dumb luck. You can buy down gap, but that's not something that you can predict on a regular, consistent basis. And what I do is something you can predict on a regular and consistent basis. And that is how you can use it as a strategy and a system to make money. Not just today or this week or this month, but for the next few years, the rest of your life. Anyways, you know, I, I like to think of myself as a person that teaches something that has a lot of value. And that is, again, what you get from me. You're getting value. It's an advanced system, but I'm here to support you as the mentor. And whether you take my class or someone else's, you got to think it has to be about the value. Is the information you're learning in the class worth more than you are actually paying? Or, or is it worth less? That's something else you got to think about. The Golden Gap class is value-driven education. And I think that this is something that a lot of people just 
take for granted. They want the, the quick buck. They don't want to spend a lot of money on a class. They don't want to put time into learning it. But that's not something that's going to give you longevity. And in the end, you're going to lose more in the market in the cost of taking trades or doing umpteen classes that total way more than the cost of a class like mine by making mistakes and learning things that just don't work. Nothing that is worth it is cheap. It wasn't for me because I, I lost money in the market while I created my system. So the cost of me learning this system and creating it was expensive for me. At the time, I didn't know that, though. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know, but I threw myself into it. And luckily, I stuck with it to figure this all out. But anyways, consider all the value you will receive from the cost of a class versus the cost of mistakes to the market. And i got to be honest with you, the market's a tough teacher because it was my teacher, and it will throw you under the bus. And then you don't have anyone to complain and, and, and whine to. Paying for the cost of a class is more value. You get a certain fixed value from it. You learn the information. It has a fixed cost. Losing money in the market has an unlimited cost for many people. And people that don't use stops, it can really, really hurt them. People that are in trades and don't have stops will stay in the trades forever. And this is how people lose their whole accounts. Mistakes are costly. And I see Patty's here. This was a costly mistake for her. And I, I told her what I thought of the chart. I don't know what she's going to end up doing on it. But Patty, if you think this is going anywhere near back to your price to get out of this break even, I'm telling you the chances of that are slim to none. You got a gift in here and the rallying on this on Friday. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay? You can, you can make tons of mistakes in the market if you don't know what to do. And, and I think that this is, this is a, an interesting chime to train because there is so much volatility. That is profit for people that know how to make money. If you don't know how to make money, you're losing. But if you do know how to make money, it's a time to make a lot, okay? So think about these things I'm saying. Ask yourself if you think you will gain knowledge from the class instructor, which in this case is me. I created my own system and I teach it and I trade it and I run the trading room every day. And then ask yourself if you think you'll learn how to make money from this instructor. So when you're going and you're listening to webinars, ask yourself these two things. Because although you can learn valuable information from people, if you can't translate that into dollars and cents, you know, it's, 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 it's not exactly achieving your goal. Because ultimately, everyone's goal is to really make money. Okay, we want to get good at something, but we want to make money too. I always tell people, don't, don't waste just years of your life trying to make dollars and cents and saving and waiting and, and making a little bit of money here and there while you're actually losing money in the market. If you tally it all up, it's just stretched out of the cost of weeks and years and losing money to commissions and taking plays that have no value and aren't good. You don't waste time trading for months and years with no conviction. One of the other things I teach people is conviction. You need to have conviction. When you have conviction in the trading strategy, you can produce positive results, which is the profit. I believe, I have 100% conviction, Amazon is higher, Google is higher, the market will make another brand new all-time high, the spy will go over the high any day, if it didn't tonight into the close. When you do not have conviction in a trading strategy, do not expect positive results. In fact, if you don't have conviction in, in what you're doing, you should not be risking any live money. You shouldn't be trading it at all. You shouldn't be risking a dollar, a dime, okay? How people take trades that they don't know what they're doing or have conviction in, I have no idea. I honestly, honestly do not know. One of the qualities that you need to have if you want to be successful is strength. And sometimes the strength of purpose is, is, is within yourself and your mind saying, I understand that the case is that I have to learn something before I make money. And I understand that I'm willing to put through the time and effort to do it to short my learning curve. Because if I do so, I will make money sooner and it will be easier for me emotionally and it will be easier for me financially in the long run because I'm shorting the learning curve for myself. And that's something that people just don't, don't get until they're in the thick of it. Until people are in the throes and, and the thick of it. I always, you know, tell people, think about the money that you want to make. Think about the money that you have to risk, whether it's a beginner, intermediate, or advanced risk. What are your financial goals? Do you have the time to day trade? Or if you don't, do the time to do options. How long do you think it will take you to make money trading? What are to achieve your goals, whatever they are, weekly or, or, or monthly? 
Are you also giving yourself enough time to achieve those goals? Like what if your goal is to make $1,000 a day, but you only have a $2,500 prop account? Well, that's not realistic. So you have to say, okay, I'm gonna take this $2,500 account, I'm gonna build this account up to 5,000, then I'm gonna build this account up to 10,000, and then you're gonna go hammer it and go after it. Be realistic with yourself, know what your goals are, be clear so that you can give yourself the best chance to succeed. And, and, I, and I say, face the reality. The reality is that you can learn my system and be successful and make money. And if you're in the trading room, even, even better. But you will learn how to trade from me. And you have to think if it's worth it for you. How serious are you about making money? How serious are you about trading? You can wait. You could learn and do my class later. 2018, you could do it. And then all of 2017 would go by and you wouldn't make any money or you'll continue to do what you've been doing and losing instead of coming and joining me. I think a lot of people that have did the class in the last few months regret not having done it in 20, 2016. And, and, I, and I think, you know, everybody goes through their own personal process, but I really think it's important for you to decide in a calm, calm state, in a relaxed state, sit down, meditate, be quiet, be by yourself, and ask yourself if the method that you're trading right now is working. Just be honest with yourself. And then, and then ask yourself if you think that there's something out there that you can learn better that will make you more money or will work. Because if you're doing something and you're losing money right now, then there's a problem. And you gotta, you gotta be honest with yourself about it. And I always say to people, how badly do you want it? You must, you must be, you know, like this guy here, unique different, which is definitely me. In a crowd of people trying to make money in the market, if you go with the crowd, you're not going to win. The crowd is losing. They don't want to take the time. They don't want to spend the money to learn. They don't want to sit down and actually comprehend what I'm saying. They want to keep just trying to find, you know, the quick buck, the fast buck. Okay. Watch, watch a free webinar, go to a trading room trial or watch something on TV and just take a trade. In, until you know the system and you have 100% conviction and you own it as your, yourself, you say, I love this thing. This thing, I get it. This, this Apple trade, it's mine. This money, I'm taking it. You go into the market and you just take it. That's, you have to want it. You have to want the money for the market. Any questions from anyone at all as we're getting in here? It's a good, good lecture here today. I hope people are getting a lot out of this. I always say you have to empower yourself if you really want to do it. And part of that is investing in yourself as a trader. So I teach two classes. One is a bearish class. It's May 20th and 21st from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $49.99. You can email me if you want to sign up at melissa at thestockswish.com. This is sun Saturday and Sunday, not this week and the following weekend. And this is the bearish class system. You will learn how to short. I'm also teaching the bullish class this week. It's May 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's actually Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So the last time to sign out would be today or early tomorrow morning. It's from 11 to 4. Cost of this class is $49.99. I'm offering this, though, for $39.99 for this class. I usually only do this class once in a blue moon. The class I regularly do is the short class, but I thought I would tell people I am offering this. If you still want to sign up, you can tonight or tomorrow morning and you will save a thousand dollars. Any questions from anyone? If you are interested, you can call me, 929-3200 GAP. You can email me. If you wanna try out of the trading room, you can come as well. It has been a, a very good start to the calendar year, this year in 2017 for stocks that are gapping. It's a very interesting market. It's extremely bullish. Think about the things I said tonight. You can short and make money in a bullish market, but you've got to find the right things and you can't go long crap and stuff that's working, you can, you can buy as well. You don't have to wait for corrections as long as it has a good gap. Patty has a question. Anyone that have a question here, let me know.
Patty's trying to type something? Okay. Patty, were you trying to write something? Patty, you sold RIG today. Congratulations, Patty. Everyone give Patty a round of applause. Let's look at it for Patty. We've got a couple minutes. Hold on. Oh, Patty, I'm proud of you. That was a tough hit, I know. But you didn't have a choice. There you go. That's for Patty. You did the right thing, Patty. To get a dollar rally on that was a gift from the universe. This stock gap down on Friday and was down here at 10.03. And when this rallied, no, this was Thursday, I'm sorry. When this rallied here on Friday, it rallied over 11, you saved yourself a buck. You saved yourself five grand. You, you can't do any better than that. It looks absolutely awful. Here's what, you're, here's what you were long. And, and you did the right thing. I'm very, very happy. Because this actually here looks like it's rallying into resistance. It, this could fall again tomorrow. And then you would have been even more upset. So today you got it a little bit. You held, it held over 11. So hopefully you got out of it over 11. It held it a little bit in here. I, you know, this, there was very little chance it was going to go back anywhere up in here over 16 where you were. And, and, and a larger chance that it continued down in here. The, the, good job, Patty. I'm glad. I know it's a tough hit, but I know you signed up for the options letter. We'll, we'll figure out. I'll follow with you to make sure you get the calls the rest of the week. Whatever I call. I hope you did the one I sent today. Even though it was this afternoon, it was still not too late to do it. You, you, you have to focus now on new quality good trades. And you just, there's nothing you could do. There's nothing you could do. I'm glad that you got one more pushback. But I'm also glad to get out of it because that was a gift. Because I think you saved five grand. That's how you have to look at it. Yeah, if you're down a lot of money, and for those of you that don't know, Patty was in this and she was long it back since 2015. She was long the stock since 2015 when it had a pushback back in here. She was in it around 16 and she's been suffering down in the position ever since. And had one chance to get out here and didn't and we hadn't talked, but she's been following me for a while and has never done the gap class. And, and now she signed up for the options letter, which I think is a good idea. You can easily make, you know, Quickly, quickly, quickly make back the losses you had on this rig by doing a series of options trades. Whether it takes you, you know, one week, one month, two months, you'll make it back. You're, you were never going to make this money back in this. You were never going to get back to break even. It was never going to happen anytime soon and all your capital suck, was sucked up in this thing. So I, you did the right thing. I know it was tough, but I'm very, very proud of you. It's a, you've, 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 you've just stepped onto a new level by being able to take the loss in this. Realizing that you had a bad trade. And guess what? You're not going to suffer anymore. The stress is over. Every day that you got up in the morning and went to bed at night, you were stressed at this trade. Getting up every day, looking at it, be down more and more and more and more and more. <laughs> I, Patty, you've helped a lot of people, though. Imagine. You've helped a lot of people. Every trial and tribulation that everybody goes through, I'll say this one last thing, I'm ready to go, is a learning experience for somebody else. And that's why you can never you you can never um, you can never be embarrassed when you make a mistake, even if you're making the mistake and it's only you and yourself. When you make a mistake and you are alone with yourself, even if you don't tell anybody about yourself um, or about the mistake, you can't be embarrassed or feel bad about yourself or feel guilty or hate yourself when you make a mistake. It's okay to make mistakes. I'm I make mistakes. You know, that's part of that's part of growth. That's what I'm saying here. This is a big, uh, you just made a huge growth as a trader. You'll probably take off. Number one, you signed up for the options letter with me, which is going to work out well for you. And number two, you, you grew as a trader here by accepting the loss. Unfortunately, part of trading is some days you will take losses. When, when we fail as traders is when we're unwilling to take losses and then we let something that was a, a small loss or a medium loss turn into a humongous loss that we can't let go of. And that then we think we did something wrong. You didn't do anything wrong with this except for you didn't, you, I, don't, I don't think you'd made a good position here, but I, I, whoever told you to do this was, was, it wasn't a good advice. But, 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 but then once you realize it wasn't working, you have to be honest with yourself. And that was the point I was trying to make with other people. Sit down if you're doing a strategy right now that's losing for you and not making money and be honest with yourself. The, the only thing that we do wrong is sometimes when we can't be honest with ourselves. And that's when we're, we're not helping ourselves. The best thing you can do to help yourself is be honest with yourself about your own mistakes. Whether you tell me or you tell yourself or anybody else, it doesn't matter. 
but you, you was a good lesson here for a couple of days, Patty, for you to help other people. You did the rig yourself, yeah. Well, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna learn doing the options trades, how to do gaps somewhat here, and then maybe one day you'll be ready for the class. All right, thanks everybody. We're over time here, but good congratulations, Patty. Good job. You 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 reached a new level here today. All right, have a good night, everybody. Email me with questions. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. Again, thank you so much for your time and your participation. We do appreciate each and every one of you, and we especially want to thank our host and presenter from thestockswish.com, Melissa Armall. Thank you, everyone. Have a